Hi everyone, welcome to another CLDR preparation video on LabVIEW Advantage. Please pause the video if necessary to understand the requirements and then resume when ready. Let us begin. The question says, what will be the output of the following reentrant calculation.vi if the input is 4? So, if you understand what the reentrant is, reentrant is very similar or is equivalent to the recursive function in other programming languages. So in this case, uh, the VI is going to call itself if the input is not equal to zero. And if the function input is zero, then it is going to return one. So now to understand this properly, we'll build a table to understand how it works. So look very carefully. There's a case structure uh, which holds the reentrant function and if the value is equal to zero, it is going to return one. So I've made like a, this table. So in the beginning, the input is four, as you can see. So the decrement function is going to decrement three, but you won't receive the output yet because you are going to call the another recursive call in this case. So the input to the recursive call is going to be 3, and again, it is going to decrement. So in the next iteration, the recursive call is going to get the input of 2, returning 1, and it is going to input 1. Similarly, it is going to give you output 0. But now, what is going to happen is, finally, since the value becomes 0, it is going to return 1. So there are no more recursive call after that. So it is going to return 1. Now we'll go back to the previous iteration. So one is returned over there, as you can see, it comes out and it is multiplied with the input. The input in this case is one. So one times one is going to be one. And it will go back to the previous call. So in this case, it is going to multiply with the input value. The input is again two and then the return value is one. So two times one is going to be two. Now we go back to the previous iteration again and in this case the return value is 2 and then the input is 3 so 2 times 3 is going to be 6 and finally the first call we had now the return value is 6 and then input is 4 now 4 times 6 is going to be 24 so our answer is going to be C I hope you like this video I'll see you in the next CLDR question Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.